today <coughs> we'll we'll uh, install uh, Salesforce LWC editor uh, extension and then write code over there. Okay, so to do that, first go to Chrome and then go to settings. extensions and then go to um, a web store and then search for Salesforce LWC editor okay and then click on add to chrome and then go to your arc your salesforce arc find icon that shows uh, salesforce lwc editor click on that it opens a pop up okay so write code over there okay so what we need to do generally we, we can do it from the visual studio code right so sometimes authentication problems will be there sometimes deployment problems will be there sometimes you know when I click on here this targets at all will not come uh, so whenever we manually write also whenever I deploy uh, so it uh, it will throw an error may uh, sometimes there will be a problem so it will uh, you know whenever uh, we close this and refresh again it may uh, come that issue mm, but let's say in that uh, in that situation we cannot you know uh, go forward so we, we have to see alternative approaches like this visuals to decode we can use uh, some other uh, you know tools or we can use uh, you know Salesforce extensions basically so you can see here uh, in the Chrome uh, supports so many extensions uh, you know go to settings here settings and then in the settings you go to uh, extensions and then the extensions use uh, you know is go here open chrome web store go here web store so here so many extensions will be there these are the extensions okay so I can search for Salesforce LWC editor okay and then uh, so we can install this one also this is something code searcher okay this is code search uh, this one this one is code searcher advanced code searcher first we'll see this one so this click on this uh, I have added uh, I have added uh, this one to my chrome already that's why it is showing me remove from the chrome generally you can see a button here add to chrome click on this uh, click on this it will be it will be it will be installed in a your uh, browser it will be like this it will be like this okay this is an example page okay uh, so uh, this will be showing like this one sec okay so here uh, once you install this one go to your salesforce arg here uh, and generally it will show you in uh, this icon extensions icon here okay uh, wherever you go uh, here in the browser it will show you here but it is disabled here to make it is enable and then work then go to your arc salesforce arc wherever you logged in already click on this icon it will it, will, it shows now a kind of enabled mode that means it automatically takes your credentials basically click on this automatically it will open in a separate window with your credentials okay so you don't need to authenticate you don't need to authorize anything so it's automatically opened here and then you can see apex classes here and then you can see uh, lightning web components over here to create a lightning web component click on a control n okay and then this uh, control n uh, is for the new uh, uh, you know either creating a uh, generally component okay or uh, if you want to create a apex class click on apex class here okay 
so this is apex class uh, this is a new component so shortcut is control n okay so uh, you can open also and edit also here so you see click on this it is coming in editable mode okay you can just click on javascript if you want okay and then to deploy you don't need to deploy uh, is uh, you know right click and deploy you just control s do a control s deploy it automatically deploys to the arg okay so like this i mean uh, this is a little bit you know simpler process okay so you don't need to authorize in anything okay then uh, so anytime you want to modify you can modify you want to create it, you can create it so it is a little bit easy okay um like this uh, there are many extensions also you can find out say related to salesforce so for example if you install this one uh something this is uh, of uh, salesforce advanced code searcher so if you add this to code uh, you know extension to your browser you can search the code you can see uh, there are sample screens available here uh, where is that so sample screens they have given here you see uh, you can search like this advanced code search you can search like this in the home page okay so now i have installed this one i have added to my chrome <coughs> go to your uh, salesforce refresh Uh, you see here salesforce advanced code searcher okay so generally we can uh, search like suppose there is any class there is a component we can search from here itself suppose you wanted to see here uh, search code right um, we need to authorize it seems first time we need to authorize first time once it is authorized So you can search over here uh, lightning components you wanted to search okay um, my first so you see my first class is available okay and then you wanted to remove all this and uh, and search uh, LWC let's see there is no results what is our uh, what is our component name my first LWC Okay, maybe it is not finding out lightning uh, LWC component. It is not finding just lightning component. It is finding so let's uh, let's see data something See here component a is coming B is coming click event is coming so many LWC components are coming here. Okay custom uh, Customer data display controller everything is coming. I think looks like it is. Yeah, this is something uh, This is something lightning page we created and this is also lightning page and this is a component okay like we can search this is an extension just like this we can use so many extensions in the uh, uh, this chrome browser so like that one of the uh, thing is this lwc editor this one we can edit the code over here so now let us start writing the code here uh, so better uh, right so I mean generally Visual Studio Code is fine, but sometimes it may give us a problem, but uh, I will write a code uh, also here. Okay, uh, so let us start writing today some code. Uh, so build a, some new component, uh, so, but have you tried yesterday's uh, task? Uh, are you finding uh, how to get the data, how to click on a button and do the action, doing a plus minus and all? Are you able to understand and do it? Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um, fine. Uh, so now what we will do uh, if you are understanding that so let us uh, move forward to a different concept. Uh, so like you know how to uh, generally uh, call an apex today and then uh, send a data uh, to the object. Now we are building some UI right. So we are building some UI. Uh, where is that UI? Welcome screen I guess.
so like this welcome screen you are building <coughs> and you are just you know uh, taking some inputs so uh, now the the next step would be so you are just tracking the input in the javascript whenever you click on submit button or something right so you are tracking some input it is there now till now in your in your local it is not present in the any object so it is not going to store automatically into the object for example you wanted to take uh, you know customer form you wanted to take uh, you know different customer information customer name phone fax and everything and then submit it has to go to the salesforce object then how, how can we build that means we can go for a apex programming okay so first you can build a ui and then click it will go to apex and then apex will do a dml operation okay so these things we can discuss today right uh, from lwc this is something called uh, calling apex from lwc okay so we will see now we'll build some input fields like this and then uh, click on submit it will go to the object any other object like an account or a, we have already customers we can go to customers object and then store it okay customers data here customer data object any other object you know this will be the scenario generally the object may not expose in the ui okay uh, yeah as of now we are discussing something like you know bits and piece of code right so we will combine together at a you know home page we'll remove all those things and then put in a home page welcome screen and then you know asking for the some mobile number or something if not present then we will we will display some form to uh, you know uh, fill the this customer information and then once you click on save it will go to the backend object okay for now just we'll just kind of an example we are going to discuss now okay so the in this example we are going to take the inputs from the user and then click on save it will go to the object in a backend okay so for that we may need to call an apex programming okay so let us go to lwc editor and then create a new component okay and here i'll write um, customer registration okay and then you see here uh, if you select the is exposed now generally uh, in the vs code we used to select a, here we need to write is exposed true and then targets right so here you don't need to write it you can select from here in the ui you want to expose this in the app page home page as a tab as a record page you can select over here and then deploy so what it will do it will create a component and then it will be exposed is going to be true and then as well as these targets it is going to be added okay these targets is going to be added so you see now it is created let's see somebody's joined now now just like this in the lwc editor it might have already updated so you see here targets i did not given i mean i did not modified here i mean i did not enter manually i selected a checkbox automatically it is coming here in the lwc editor okay so uh so this is generally uh, easy way like you know uh, we don't need to you know worry about this it's automatically creating right now here go to javascript now what we need to do now there is a uh, one sec there is a html file now there is a javascript file now now we can write uh, you know uh, for, uh, like you know inputs over here and then javascript as usual we know till now we will just take inputs all the inputs and then we see how to call an apex okay so first build a ui okay i am going to build a uh, lightning uh, card okay so you see here when i select a lightning card automatically uh, these uh, elements are coming automatically these are inbuilt elements like you know generally we can include all this in the lightning card basically in the lightning card we can include all this if you want generally it will be plain like this generally if you don't if you write in the visual studio code it is just it will just says that lightning card that's it okay but uh, these are you know uh, something inbuilt things like you know uh, generally we can utilize these all these uh, lightning button uh, and then light as well as some just this is an example just save this and see what will happen okay
now what I will do uh, I will deploy it's already deployed now I'll go to UI I'll go here so I'll go to tabs I'll select a one I'll create a one tab I'll create a tab sorry I'll create a lightning component tab and displace this out components output in the tab okay I'll going to create a one tab here lightning component tab okay with a uh, something called customer registration customer registration This is a tab now. Okay, save this. You can go to App Manager and then add this tab to your application. Edit here. Go to navigation items and write here uh, customer registration form. Save this. Now come here and refresh. You can see or go to uh, SPI loans application you will see customer registration okay uh, so you see now this is a kind of you know like card now so if if I put a for the card uh, you know like a title and then icon and then buttons it will show like this a card it will have a footer it will have a in a in a kind of a header in the top and then these are the actions action action is not there no actions are there and then you know body so this is like you know generally card will be showing like this if you remove all these things it's a plain card if I don't have anything I don't have any title like or nothing okay for example like this then it will be a plain uh, card one generally As you know this is just a plain card now nothing is there and there is no photo there is nothing so by default uh, whenever we write a visual studio code generally it will it will maybe not showing this uh, kind of output but generally you see here when I write a card it's giving entire internal uh, things also okay if you want you can utilize this otherwise we can remove this okay so so let's let's uh, let's keep like this photo and then let's keep uh, this title also let's see for the just in differentiation I will write a title registration okay and then I'll put a button here um, so which is let's say put icon mm, let me put as a just a button we don't require this So save this, deploy this, and automatically it will be deployed here. So you see customer registration. So now we are going to put uh, like you know uh, lightning uh, layouts and all also. So I am going to use now lightning layout. Okay. See whenever I select a layout, you see layout items also is coming automatically okay layout I just selected layout that's it okay I selected layout when I click on layout layout items also coming here so that is pretty good okay so I will use uh, if I want otherwise I can remove one of them these things so lightning layout so here I can select like four 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 okay 
so i just wanted to display something in the middle uh, so that's why i'm just uh, making like this so here i will use lightning input okay so when i select the input you see uh, type is text coming and the name is coming label is coming everything is coming we just don't need variant name also not needed so label i will write enter customer name okay so like this i can select everything apply now you will see so you see here uh, one sec I'll just see uh, it's four four and five okay let me make this as three and then three uh, okay so small device large device okay uh, we can use large device here so these are you know large devices for the lap uh, lab basically medium devices for uh, tablet and then small devices for mobile okay by default if you don't mention it will act uh, for uh, just like whatever the size I'm giving here will it will act like that okay like if I give a size as 3 <coughs> then it is applied for all the mobiles uh, devices mobile and then different devices also now I'm given size as 3 and then 3 and then uh, 6 plus 6 yeah 6 apply refresh so this is uh, how it looks like now okay so you see here a uh, type here type here is coming inside when I, whenever we type it will be removed so that is something called as a placeholder you wanted to show something a uh, message before entering I wanted to indicate something to the user then you can uh, make as a placeholder here okay placeholder this is just like you know yesterday we used lightning input type we used label we used and then we used on change right so this is something extra you see placeholder placeholder is to tell something okay name something like this okay enter your name something okay I mean just to make sure that what to enter here type something here I already we have given enter enter customer name something but inside that you wanted to do something you can use uh, this placeholder to show okay or some name like this okay by default by name some name okay so now let us go to customer object and see whatever the fields are there are mandatory fields are there you wanted to track those fields for example name mobile number you want to take a primary email and then date of birth and then street then make these fields are required fields are, are generally whatever is required generally to to fill this information to to save this uh, object or uh, if you want all fields you can you can uh, you know introduce all fields in the layout so let's say you want to quickly to create this form this form is using to quickly to create a user or a customer right so you want a customer name you want primary mobile number so go here into the primary mobile enter Yeah, it is the same for our components also. Placeholder will be there for our VF pages. No, for Visual Force is also right. Okay, uh, okay. If it is available, we can use. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it's been very long using Visual Force page. Okay, so uh, so whenever I wanted to create a customer in general, I will be using these fields. So uh, now I'm doing with the customization with the Lightning component. So uh, now generally uh, this this tab may not be visible. Like um, you know, we will remove this tab. But before that we are just checking so is what are the fields are available so we can remove this object uh, from the in the in the UI we can utilize this customer registration form to fill it okay 
so that's how generally uh, it will looks like uh, you know nobody will show uh, this is a kind of object it will present all the data so what will happen uh, in the in the application will not show all data to everybody so whatever uh, you know uh, generally uh, whoever is logged in or whatever the information is required that information only will be shown that's why we can go for a customization so here we can build our as you know our requirement we may display something else in the left side we can display something in the right side that's why we can go for a customization in this form you cannot do that this is this is already present then you might get a some doubt like you know this is already present this there is an option to create a new customer already present as in a standard way we don't need to write a code why are we writing again here means maybe company wants or a business wants you know some form where some left side some information should be present let right side some information present and then middle you wanted to uh, you know, track the customer details then in such situations we can go for generally a customized component this is a lwc component you can go with the r component as well but as per the standards salesforce recommended to write a lwc components okay so now this is an lwc component we are building for the customized purpose okay now uh, we can you know track the name primary mobile number secondary email number and then data path if you don't want uh, you know play uh, this placeholders we can remove also uh, you know if it is something confusing or you know see in the ui it may sometimes it's uh, it's very clumsy like like you know i can remove it's based on the requirement if they don't want we can remove or if you want we can place it here um like this okay so now save this deploy now come here and then refresh you see for these two i am make a placeholders and remaining three i have removed placeholders you see i have given a placeholder as direct here and here just type here so if i write something it will go off basically okay this name will go off okay so here also like this okay so uh, you see here i wanted to enter the date <coughs> i don't want to enter like this i wanted to select from there okay and then email also i wanted to uh, you know enter like this format if this format is not present like this then i wanted to show an error message so to do the to do that generally we can use a type here you see type by default text is coming input type is text right so we can change here uh, if you want a date date type you can change you want uh, you know uh, this to be email we can select as email okay uh, this has a number we can select a number okay then save it i think that it will be number or integer it is saved now go here and refresh so you see here date so now this type i have a second uh, taken as a, selected as a date that's why it is coming as a drop down i can select uh, my date over here okay and this i have given as a email you see here email for invalid format if you don't give as an email format it will throw an error message means there will be a types based on the type uh, you know you can select something you see i have selected a number that's why it is coming you see 2 lakhs 32 something if you select a phone here instead of number that will be good phone okay now you see same input tag we are just changing the type by uh, you know like type, uh, type of input by by mentioning the type what type is it a text is it a phone number you are going to enter is it a email date what do you want it to enter we can you know you can mention in the type uh, tag over here refresh this you see now uh, it is better for me when i enter the phone number it will be in a uh, it it will be not showing in the number format now it was something like you know if i enter like this it will divide with the commas if you take a number that's why i have taken a phone now this is email and this is date and then this is general text now i can introduce a, a button over here submit button okay so i can introduce a button here lightning button
date and time is it yeah we can use uh, this one this one is it no we cannot use this this is uh, when I whenever I search it is something is coming we cannot use this so now uh, <clears throat> no now you got doubt let let me put a okay since what will happen let us see I just given as a date uh, and then I created a button uh, let me make this as a um, label as submit and then on click save it now go here refresh you see date is coming so it's not a case sensitive it's not a case sensitive and now you got a doubt right what type of data types it is supporting here type is date is supporting or something else is supporting can I mention here as a pick list sorry their flight went off so uh, so here you got doubt what kind of types it is supporting is it date supporting date time supporting email supporting will it support a pick list will it support anything else those things you can find out uh, in the library document library uh, there will be a lightning component library so whenever we go here all these components are already present over there we are just using this already Salesforce present uh, you know build, build this okay you need to use this lightning input like this okay so suppose you put something else here so why do we need to use here type label something else we can use right name something or maybe something paragraph something we cannot use uh, any other at these are something called attributes type is an attribute label is an attribute placeholder is an attribute all these are attributes on click is an also kind of attribute this is uh, indicates that action okay this is label is an attribute variant is an attribute so this is a tag so each tag will have a attributes like this these attributes are already defined by the Salesforce and as well as inside the attribute what do you want it to use in the label uh, can I use without single quotes or double quotes or single quote or double quotes means no they will say that label accepts a string that means it's a it should be in the string means it's in, inside the double quote in the apex string means it is a single quote in the LWC string means it is in a double quotes it will a label accepts the string any string placeholder also string okay like that type string that accepts text phone email like this they'll they'll specify in the document so whenever I go here in the lightning component library search for component library go here In the component library you will see here lightning component uh, lightning web components and ara components okay so in the lightning web components or ara components wherever you go click on lightning so here you can see so many components these are different components you see button is a component it's already defined by the salesforce and then you can see documentation and then you can see a specification and examples so you want a button with this color then then use this code lightning button label title all this the difference is here variant variant is destructive brand neutral different variants are available so here this variant is success okay if you put a success then it will be green color if you put a variant as a destructive text it will be red with a outline text you see only destructive will fully red and background color and you see brand outline this is just a brand this is a brand outline this is destructive this is destructive text this is a success this is neutral and this is space means input button lightning button is same and labels we can change 
but variants based on the variant the different colors are changing and the styles are changing what kind of variance it will support we can find it in the specifications okay you can see here variant so you can see variant it's uh, by default is neutral the variant changes appearance of the button except variance includes a base neutral brand brand outline destructive and reverse only these will be you know it will support it will support all these things so if you write something xyz okay here uh, in the variant if you write xyz it will takes but nothing will apply by default whatever is there it will apply uh, whenever go here by default is base uh, i think is neutral it will display as a neutral i think it by default is neutral so neutral style will be applied in applying by default this is neutral this is neutral by default is neutral that's why it is saying neutral so you go to any component here you see the examples you see the specifications you will find out all the specifications you can use a name label type value variant icon name icon position all these things you can use for lightning button for one button you can use variant label right just like that name you can use type you can use okay you can use value you can use variant also so now i mean that that doesn't mean that you can use all at a time whatever is required if suppose you want to have a button i can name for this button different icons you wanted to show you can show it here for the button for example i can name i can use for here i can name is equals to i can name is equals to some name uh, like you know different icons will be there you can use specify like this utility So let's say uh, let's say down only. I don't remember what are the things are available. Down. So now we have used a label. We have used a variant. Along with I'm using icon name. So which will use me a button with the icon. It's not presenting here so let me go to uh, lightning design system in the lightning design systems we can find out uh, different icons uh, when I go here in the documentation I can find out icon So you see here uh, icons visit this lightning design system to view the utility icons okay click on this you will see different icons in the lightning design system this is also a salesforce uh, website it, see you see different icons that are present in the in this utility icons list so i can use utility and then this activity name so this icon will display here utility and then add okay so utility add user i can use utility uh, where is my code utility and then this icon name save this now there is going to be a, a button with the icon so you see here there is an icon submit is coming there is an icon also coming you see so this uh, this basically there are different set of icons are available okay we can utilize any of these icons with the different uh, you know types also doc types are available and then standard icons are available for example you wanted to use standard and approval this one like this this icon you wanted to use you can uh, go to our code and then and then use here this is uh, standard right standard and then apply approval so it will it will displace now an button with the icon standard icon the whatever the name we are displaying so you see something some name different name sorry different icon okay so like this generally we can utilize this uh, 
you know lightning design system uh, as well as lightning web component li component library generally lightning component library go to specifications you will find out okay value supports what name presents what label supports what okay so and as well as you can go to documentation for the detailed description so it will say that you say lightning button component represents a button element that executes the actions use a lightning button where user needed to submit a form or reset a form begin a new task trigger a new ui element to appear on the page specify a new or a next repair i mean these are different examples generally they will say a little bit more you know technical words uh, uh, you know it's difficult to understand sometimes so like you know read multiple times you may be able to find out or you know once you complete our course maybe you'll feel little bit easier to read this okay so uh, they'll give you example also here this is the example they'll explain the things okay and then component styling you wanted to put a icons you want to put a variance you can you know customize the style different you know things they are giving you over here okay so uh, so generally uh, you can see here styles also customized styles also we can put we will see, we will discuss tomorrow uh, how to apply the css and styles for the you know uh, for the buttons or maybe for the back end colors you wanted to put for the form we can we can see that tomorrow uh, but for now we will see how to call an apex right so but before that we are seeing uh, you know what is these components what are these components you know lightning button how to use lightning input what the types are available so we just seen that you know button and then different properties are different attributes variant attribute icon name attribute label attributes are present over here right similarly for each and everything these are the different set of uh, you know uh, tags that are available or a components that are available like we are using lightning button component inside the lwc component we are using lightning input right similarly you see so many <coughs> we can use avatar avatar is to use uh, you know uh, kind of a user icon it will show preview here let us uh, render this it's not rendered yeah like this you know user icon uh, you wanted to show just like this user icon you wanted to show then we can generally go for this avatar icon okay avatar and then some image name it will show avatar image and just like that uh, you know we can we can have a button groups multiple buttons you know one button displays uh, button means one it displays right multiple buttons will be displays like this button button groups okay just like that so many icons are there you see just use a card whenever you select a card you see this is a card example generally in the lwc component whenever i select a card everything is coming like this but in the visual studio code if i select a lightning card only lightning card is coming inside elements are not coming so it is taking an example from the uh, you know lwc editor is taking example from this lightning component library okay automatically uh, so like this checkbox checkbox groups like this so many things are available like now just go to text input text just go to input so i want input if you want input you can use just like this uh, lightning input we have used a type text and a label right similarly you can see different types of inputs are available you can see here uh, you want input plain input and then you want uh, input with some value predefined value you can see here um, where is that so like you see value is equals to acme inc so you see acme inc okay and then what is the difference here just value is added this is also a input above so this is also a input tag which is having a type over here also type is available label is also available so for this value is extra so if you put it just value it will pre populate whenever the page loads loads okay similarly just come down uh, you will see uh, like you know placeholders we had seen this placeholder okay 
and then you will see whenever input is required like this okay uh, input is required like this red symbol you wanted to show in the UI then we can use required is equals to true over here we can use this required this required so we can use in our uh, component also in the LWC so I wanted to enter the name mandatory then I will say required and then I will say primary mobile number is required and then email is required then I can say required the, the just required we can put required is equals to true also okay it it makes same okay so come here now if you put a for the input required attribute it will be showing any red color you see a red a red dot is star is coming earlier it was not there right so uh, this required is an attribute okay now placeholder is an attribute required is an attribute similarly now what we are discussing earlier so what type you wanted to select here is it phone email what kind of things are supported can be seen in the documentation or in the specification also I guess in the type let, let's go to the type so where typed uh, yeah but those all are available or not we don't know here so at the time of field creation whatever the fields are showing all all you are uh, saying that will be supported here okay you see here text text area is not there just uh, you know where is that text text is also by default text maybe text area is not there you see text area is not there and then currency is not there where is the currency currency is not there so few are the not there that's why we will we will reference for here what kind of data types we can we can reference is it a checkbox checkbox button what type it will support we can find out here you see default to text it is a text you wanted to show as a text area then it won't it won't support you wanted to have a pick list there is a pick list in the uh, you know data type data type pick list is available whenever you create a field but that pick list is not available here right so we can refer from, from here generally otherwise you can go to in the documentation also they will say uh, these are the different data types it will supports checkbox you see here in the documentation it is easy the component supports the following input types checkbox it supports date date time time email file all these things it will support it won't support pick list it won't support text area text area rich okay those will not support okay so if you want that you can go for a lightning input address you want a you know address format to be stored in the system so you can use like this you know uh, like it will just renders you see here street and then city and then play uh, and then province provenance and then postal code and then country all these are the compound fields like you know input address if you take it will gives us uh, all the values okay input values okay like this so however uh, we can generally <coughs> uh, go to the uh, documentation and then find out you see here input rich text so we cannot put input type is equals to rich text here okay our text area we cannot put we can go for separate type here okay so however I am saying that we can find these things in the lightning component library and then select a particular component and see either documentation or the specification you will find out okay now let's go to our concept now so we have inputs like this right now I want to gather this input in the JavaScript so to do that what what should I do I need to write on change okay and then some uh, you know uh, method I can write uh, handle input change something okay so now I have how many five six input elements so earlier we have are having two two methods we were declared like this right so let me uh, remove this placeholder we don't need placeholder here right 
yesterday i was having like this you know input 1 input 2 handle input 2 or like that so now we have let's say 10 input fields uh, like this 10 functions we need to write like this input 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 inputs we need to write remember yesterday what i am saying is whenever i am having two inputs here lightning input 1 input 2 i am having a two methods declared over here right so does it require every time if i have 10 elements uh, 10 input 20 30 then do i need to have a 20 input uh, you know uh, uh, like a functions over here like this uh, actions or methods do i need to have a 10 input or 20 30 uh, uh, functions do i need to declare generally we can declare but without declaring also declaring only single method can handle this how means we can go here use the same okay everybody use the same method and then make a some label or a name name is equals to something input one like this for each and every input make a names like this uh, let us put this name one name two name three name four five like this means five input elements we have taken same method the same function for all you know okay on whenever on changes i am using the same method okay then i can go here in the javascript i can write a function like this so yesterday remember we have created uh, you know uh, yesterday we have created five method two methods like this now i am creating only met one then how can i handle the different inputs when i change the input here uh, yesterday uh, one input for input whenever i change the values are ch storing in a back end that method related method will fire here also that related method will fire then how can i handle this input now where ca how can i store this means we can have a here mm, something if event dot target dot yesterday we used value now you can use name is equals to equals to input one then assign this to particular variable customer name okay so here you can use this dot customer name equals to even dot target dot value means what will happen now if I enter something in the input one this action will fire it will check what is the input what is the name is input one come here is it input one yes then assign this to customer name one if I'm changing the second one then also same method will fire it will check is it input two or, or what is is it input two then you can write a again condition like this is it input two then assign it to some other variable like this for five methods you can use a five conditions okay you don't need to put a five methods okay means five input fields five methods you don't need to put you can just you know uh, handle with this if condition okay I am now what I am doing I am using a single method for all the inputs each time they are modifying on changing this method fires and each time it is firing I am checking what is the name okay is name is input one then store it in the customer name if it is input two then store it in the uh, phone uh, primary email okay and then whatever the name is that secondary email and then we can use data birth and then we can use uh, what is this street ok 
okay now these are the different elements uh, are different uh, variables that we declared so I wanted to store the values if if it is input 2 somebody is changing in the input 2 somebody is changing in the input 3 somebody is changing in the input 4 then respective variables I'm storing the data okay like this now now uh, let's simulate this I mean it, no output will come just we'll just explain in the UI so I think till now it's fine but uh, whenever I write in the JavaScript it's uh, more confusing right it's not confusing it's just you need to understand okay now you see no, it's not yet refreshed so now when I enter something here now function is going to fire whenever I change my function is fire on change this function will fire it will come here and this function checks is target dot name is input one yes then it will go inside and then store the value in a customer name is equals to even dot target net dot name so whatever the name I'm entering will be stored in the customer name right next whenever I am uh, now now it, this code will not execute because this is not matching with the input 2 input 3 input 4 I am changing the name uh, here which is having a name is equals to input 1 okay when I change the second one then uh, my mobile number is this one so input 2 I am changing this name the name of this field is input 2 since input 2 is changing then this piece of code will execute so we can put else also instead of executing every time we can put else if this is matching else this is matching else this is matching yes it is matching okay like this we can put also so that it won't execute all it will execute if condition if it is matches then it won't execute it remaining all for example if it executed this if it is executed this uh, and then this three will not execute big I mean just you know better performance you know if I put if conditions it will go every if condition it will check now it will not like that if you am entering first one first one only will execute remaining all will not execute if I'm entering second one second one will execute remaining will not execute of course it, it will try but it, you know better way to write okay so now I have all the input elements uh, variables values stored in this things right now um, is any question oh okay um, okay yeah I, okay okay so but I have given mobile number okay primary email is there right primary is available in the UI you are saying it's not available I'll say okay okay this is uh, enter mobile number is input 2 input 2 which is mobile number correct only which is input 3 which is primary mobile number okay yes now we have a data so this is something new we did today so yesterday we had uh, uh, we have done something which is multiple methods we created this is also fine multiple methods you can create like this for each and every input we can have a multiple methods in this multiple methods one you can use one one variable okay now uh, now the real thing is now we wanted to send this data to apex so first build an apex okay to build an apex I'll just go to here a, a there is a symbol click on this I wanted to create a, my own controller today so I'm writing customer data a customer registration controller controller means it's a class only click on save 
it is created a class now I'm going to create a method inside of it public static void so let's say uh, create you uh, create customer so everybody knows that how to create a method how to create a class we had seen last time right so generally this is a class and this is sorry this is a class this is a method now save this this is now deployed that means it is going to be created in the Salesforce now right so now I wanted to call uh, you know uh, this method from this component JavaScript and then pass this information whatever I'm getting it in the JavaScript that means whatever I enter in the UI I'll get it in the JavaScript this JavaScript will not directly interact with the uh, you know database we cannot write here insert so insert is a statement we can use to to create a data in the database insert uh, you know customer we cannot do it here because this is a JavaScript doesn't understand what is insert insert is generally used to create a new record new record in the system or in the object right so this is a new uh, you know uh, this is a statement this will not support in the JavaScript this will supported by Apex programming this we have a capability to interact with the server and insert a data into the object to do that generally generally any any new customer you wanted to create a new account you wanted to create a new lightning car you wanted to create we need to make an instantiation like this for example account you wanted to instantiate you need to do like this what this piece of code will do is it will create a new account in the system okay this is an instantiation and then instantiation related fields I can set the fields multiple fields name phone is equals to some phone number okay and then each and every statement will execute with the semicolon account at phone or uh, account at uh, billing city is equals to particular city okay I can use like this means this is an instantiation and these are different fields I can set and insert programmatically we are creating our data this record is going to be stored in the Salesforce in an account object right let us try this first I have an account uh, this piece of code I will execute in the developer console in the Salesforce right I can go here in the developer console go to uh, developer console here developer console in the developer console uh, first go to accounts page there is an account You see here accounts uh, just uh, let's see first of all whether the account is uh, what are the accounts are available we'll see first mm. however let's try in the uh, meanwhile we can try in the developer console looks like internet issue You can hear me right can you hear me can you hear me
Yeah. Can you hear me now? Hello? Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so I just opened the developer console, that's it. I lost the connection. Uh, so I just opened the developer console, that's it. So in the developer console, let me execute this code. Okay, and then uh, if I put something here. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Sorry, error occurred when stop uh, when sharing screen sharing. Can you see now? Yeah, so generally, if I execute this code in the developer console, okay, name, phone, okay, billing city, okay, and then execute this, uh, so let's say, triple one, I'm just giving like this, okay, when I execute this, uh, there will be a record is going to create in the system. come here and then refresh you will see a record with the same name created here okay so record is going to be created that means we are creating a data using programmatic approach okay so this is a programmatic approach basically generally we, we go here and then click a new record and then create a record right this is a manual but we can create the record from the programming also like now we are writing the similar code here so like this I wanted to collect the information from the custom UI, custom lightning component. This information is already present with me in the JavaScript. Now I wanted to, you know, do this information or do, I wanted to save this information in the, in the database. For that we need to use generally this piece of code means we wanted to call this method so that this piece of code will be executed so that it will be created in a backend right so I need to generally if I want in a customer object I need to use a customer object you want I want this data in the account object I can use this in account object where do you want it to use this you need to define and as well as uh, you need to define uh, you know uh, apex method and all uh, but uh, but uh, actually it is taking much more time uh, it will take minimum next uh, 30 minutes I'm thinking to uh, conduct tomorrow uh, so is that fine so we just learned today uh, you know few things that you know how to uh, define uh, how to make a one method with a name attribute how to make a only single method and then collect the data so and then some uh, so some some just basic details about the uh, lightning component library so better we can discuss this tomorrow so let us have a uh, call in tomorrow okay